welcome to this lecture. Today we're talking about petroglyphs and we're going to talk about petroglyphs and their meaning. Now that's a big wide open subject but today we're going to concentrate on the idea that there's a reason for where they're at. Now some petroglyph sites are obvious because they're at a water source and we can associate them with the water source. This site we have a cliff that goes for miles this away and then goes for several miles in this direction as well and right here there's a game trail and a small uh, Tanaha or water pocket which is just basically a, a puddle that lasts maybe for a week or two and an access point where the animals such as your bighorn sheep and deer and such can come down off this lava flow. So it's a choke point or what I like to call a focus point in the environment and the glyphs are associated with that focus point. Now one of the uses that I think that uh, they may have had is if you were uh, camping down in the uh, valley some five miles from here the um, glyph site would have been a, a, an easy way and a very precise way to talk about a precise location in the desert because there's a vast amount of desert out here but an older uh, Indian could have talked about and said hey you guys follow this lava flow which is a very visible feature you'll come to this glyph site and here's some of the strategies that have been used in the past to hunt it using the wind and rain and the time of year and all the other things that they would have taken into account but it would have gave them the ability to talk to a very precise location and I think that's what this glyph site is about. Now, having said that, the actual glyph might be a prayer or something to the spirit of the great spirit of the bighorn sheep or somebody bragging that they got a big ram. Whenever you see a glyph site, that you're probably at some sort of focus point in the environment. Okay, now let's go take a look at these petroglyphs and see what mysteries and secrets they have. Now earlier I talked about this cliff blocking the flow of animals across the the major habitat except for these two access points one a game trail and another one just kind of a steep hill and also a minor water source so of course this is going to stop the flow of your larger animals your bighorn sheep your antelope deer and so forth and if we look at this panel what we'll see is we got actually uh, six bighorn sheep at this site now that's significant when you start to realize that there's a game trail here or that's one of the major things in this particular vicinity is the game trail and of course bighorn sheep use and maintain and make game trails so that's an association between the game trail and the glyph site now another thing that we have here is we have several that might be birds uh, this one and this one and most particularly uh, this one here a lot of people see that as a turkey vulture or a condor and that's also a clue as to the reason for this glyph site uh, the turkey vulture uh, will go along a site like this of course looking for some dead animal that either a hunter or in some cases a mountain lion or a bobcat would be hunting these sheep and, and still focusing in on this focus point and leaving the dead bodies and whatnot that they didn't use and of course the turkey vulture would come here and another thing that's really advantageous for the turkey vulture is the cliff itself the the cliff gives the turkey vulture some place to launch and try to get back into the air because a turkey vulture uh, is a glider and so he often likes to have a place where he can land and look at, a, at something that's dead, make sure it's safe and then glide to it or make a small glide and get up here on, on the cliff face and wait for the wind to come along 
and then he takes off. It's significant that we have this one glyph here that may be a turkey vulture. It's a clue to the reason for this site, and of course we're calling it a focus point in the environment. A lot of this is, is theory and conjecture. It does come together, and after a while when you've walked the desert, you start to see these as more than just coincidences. Uh, but it's always uh, fun to speculate and learn new things about these petroglyphs. And I believe that these glyphs have a lot to teach a person, even to this day, about the environment. Uh, you just got to kind of listen. And with that, we're going to move on over here to the game trail.